I too want to thank both Debbie Stabenow and Jean Shaheen and all of my colleagues uh, for being here. Uh, let me just put a, a fine point on this. I don't want to repeat everything that you've heard because I absolutely agree with it. But here's the reality. Fentanyl is in every community, unfortunately. For eight years, I worked with my law enforcement in my state to address the illicit drugs that were coming across the border. And unfortunately, it is still happening with fentanyl. For that reason, I went down to the border, and if you've never been to the Tucson sector, both Lukeville and Nogales, uh, you should. And I asked uh, my colleagues to go down there uh, to understand, because if you go down to the border and you talk to the customs agents and the border patrol, right now they are overwhelmed and understaffed. And they are not able to do what they want to do is address some of the drug trafficking that is coming across that border into our communities. So it's not just law enforcement in our communities that are doing everything to protect our families. They need help. And that means that we have to strengthen the southern border where we know those drugs are coming from. That's why this border legislation that we put up, this bipartisan legislation, inclu included this crucial funding to address the fentanyl coming across the border. $2.74 billion to hire over 2,000 Customs and Border Protection Officers and to bring in cutting-edge inspection technology to detect smuggled fentanyl. More than $23.2 million for the Drug Enforcement Administration to crack down on the cartels trafficking fentanyl across the border. You talk to any law enforcement on the border or in your communities, you know what's coming across the border from the cartels. $25 million for programs to combat the flow of fentanyl into our country. That's in this legislation. So to my colleagues who are concerned about the drugs coming across the border and want to address it and strengthen the border, then they should be supporting this legislation. That's what it is about today. Unfortunately, unfortunately, there is one man who wants to take credit for killing this legislation. And that's Donald Trump, because he'd rather play politics with people's lives to benefit him. And that's not what this is about for all of us. This is about ensuring we're protecting our families. This is about ensuring we're giving the support to the law enforcement across this country to do the job that they want to do to protect our communities and make them safer. It is about addressing the drug trafficking. It is about addressing the human trafficking across the border, the drug weapons trafficking, the money laundering that is happening across our southern border. I know it. I've worked on those issues for eight years as the Attorney General of the State of Nevada. It is unfortunately still happening. But I'll tell you what, unless we stand up here as Congress and show them that we support the work they're doing, they are going to get frustrated and we're going to lose out on incredible law enforcement uh, men and women who want to serve because they are overwhelmed and understaffed. And our American communities and our families deserve better. I'm going to say one more final thing. I've got to put on everybody's radar. It's not just the fentanyl that's coming across the border. It is the drugs that are being cut into the fentanyl. Right now, xylazine is a problem. There's illicit xylazine that is being cut with fentanyl that is having devastating impacts on our community. And we have to do something about that as well. I've introduced legislation to address the xylazine uh, issue, uh, and I hope my colleagues join me there as well. But at the end of the day, listen, if you're standing in the, in the well of the Senate and you're advocating to strengthen our borders, then you better be talking to those men and women in law enforcement, particular at the border, and you shouldn't be afraid to tell them why you're not supporting this legislation. But I can guarantee you not one of my colleagues who voted against this is willing to do that. Thank you so much, Senator Carter.